Today, we embark on an intriguing journey into the world of aspartame, a renowned low-calorie sweetener that has been generating waves of discussion. What is aspartame? Aspartame is a low-calorie sweetener that is 200 times as potent as regular granulated sugar. It has captivated the attention of both the scientific community and the public at large. Aspartame has emerged as a notable alternative to traditional sugar due to its intense sweetness and minimal caloric impact. Aspartame is commonly found in a range of sugar-free or low-sugar options, such as diet sodas, sugar-free desserts, chewing gums, and various other processed foods. However, aspartame's rise to prominence has also sparked controversies and debates surrounding its safety and potential health risks. Various studies and reports have emerged, both supporting and questioning the long-term effects of aspartame on human health. These concerns range from claims of adverse effects on neurobehavioral health to allegations of a potential link to cancer development. How Aspartame Interacts with the Body Upon ingestion, aspartame undergoes a complex metabolic process. It is broken down into its constituent components, aspartic acid, phenylalanine, and methanol. Aspartic acid, an amino acid, is metabolized similarly to other dietary amino acids. It is involved in various physiological processes, such as protein synthesis and neurotransmitter production. Phenylalanine, another amino acid, undergoes specific enzymatic processes within the body. However, individuals with a rare genetic disorder called phenylketonuria PKU, must carefully regulate their phenylalanine intake, as they lack the necessary enzyme to process it properly. The third component, methanol, has raised concerns among some critics due to its potential toxic effects. Methanol is naturally present in many fruits and vegetables and is also a breakdown product of certain metabolic processes. While aspartame contains a small amount of methanol, the body's natural detoxification mechanisms efficiently process and eliminate it. Applications and Utilization One of the most prominent domains where aspartame leaves its sweet mark is the beverage industry. You'll find its presence in a wide spectrum of popular drinks, ranging from carbonated sodas to fruit-flavored beverages, energy drinks, and even flavored waters. Aspartame's intense sweetness allows manufacturers to achieve desirable taste profiles without the excessive sugar content that can contribute to weight gain and other health concerns. The realm of desserts and confectionaries is another domain where aspartame takes the center stage. Sugar-free or reduced sugar versions of cakes, cookies, candies, and ice creams often rely on aspartame to deliver the delectable sweetness that indulges our taste buds. Aspartame's influence extends beyond the realms of food and beverages. It finds its way into the pharmaceutical industry as well, where it serves various purposes beyond mere sweetness. Aspartame can be found in liquid medications, syrups, and chewable tablets, enhancing palatability and making these formulations more appealing to patients, particularly children who may be averse to the taste of medications. Recent Research Findings over the years, numerous studies have sought to evaluate the safety of aspartame and its impact on human health. Some of these studies have suggested potential associations between aspartame consumption and adverse health effects, while others have failed to establish significant links. One area of concern is the potential impact of aspartame on neurobehavioral health. Certain studies have explored the possibility of aspartame contributing to headaches, migraines, mood disorders, and cognitive impairments. However, the results have been inconsistent and often confounded by factors such as individual susceptibility, dosages, and study design. As a result, the scientific community remains divided on the significance of these findings and the need for further investigation. The controversial topic of aspartame's potential carcinogenicity has also received considerable attention. Some studies have reported associations between aspartame consumption and increased risks of certain cancers, leading to concerns among consumers and regulatory bodies. However, it is important to note that regulatory agencies, such as the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, and the European Food Safety Authority, EFSA, have extensively evaluated the available data and have not found conclusive evidence supporting the carcinogenic potential of aspartame when consumed within acceptable daily intake limits. But recently the World Health Organization, WHO, has issued a new guideline regarding non-sugar sweeteners, NSS, discouraging their use for weight management and the prevention of non-communicable diseases, NCDs. This recommendation is based on a systematic review of available evidence, indicating that long-term use of NSS does not effectively reduce body fat in adults or children. 
The review also suggests potential adverse effects, including an increased risk of type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, and mortality in adults. WHO Director for Nutrition and Food Safety, Francesco Branca, advises individuals to reduce overall dietary sweetness by choosing natural sugars found in fruits or consuming unsweetened food and beverages. The guideline applies to all individuals except those with pre-existing diabetes and encompasses both synthetic and naturally occurring non-nutritive sweeteners. It does not extend to personal care products, low-calorie sugars, or sugar alcohols. The conditional nature of the recommendation recognizes the potential confounding factors and variations in NSS usage patterns among study participants, necessitating further discussion and contextual considerations at the national level. This guideline on NSS is part of a broader initiative by WHO to promote healthy eating habits, improve dietary quality, and reduce the global burden of NCDs. Conclusion and Future Outlook This video has highlighted the ongoing debates and conflicting findings surrounding the safety and potential health effects of aspartame. While some studies suggest possible adverse effects, regulatory agencies have not found conclusive evidence supporting these claims within acceptable intake limits. It is important for individuals to make informed choices based on available information. However, further research is necessary to address the remaining uncertainties and provide clearer guidance. In the future, exploring potential alternatives to aspartame and further developments in the field of low-calorie sweeteners will be crucial. Researchers continue to investigate alternative sweeteners and their impact on human health. Additionally, Advances in technology and scientific methodologies may contribute to a better understanding of the long-term effects of aspartame and other sweetening agents. It is essential to stay informed about the latest research and make choices that align with individual health goals and preferences. Thanks and don't forget to subscribe.